everyone, it's Kezia over here from Kezia's Corner and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kezia and this is my little corner, hence why I'm called Kezia's Corner. If you like what you see, I hope you get to join my lovely family. And if you don't want to miss a video of mine, then you can simply press the bell button and will notify you every single time I post a video. Today's video is going to be about these two things, the Blendiful and the Mini Blendiful, as well as the Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette. So if you want to see what I thought of this, of these products and, you know, it's the look I created with these products as well, then keep on watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then press subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay. So let's begin. I'm going to open the Tati Beauty package. As you can see, Tati's in my room. Hi, Tati. In here we have the two products we're going to be reviewing. This one, and then we also have the Blendy Full. So we're going to begin. I'm going to start by using um, uh, the Tati Blendy Full, and then we can ooh ow, we can move on to the Tati Beauty palette because I'm really excited to try this out because I actually tried out the. Um, the eyeshadow palette <laughs> because I couldn't wait. Anyways, so I'm just going to open this for the very, very first time on camera. So, oh, <laughs> oh my god, look how cute! Oh, she's adorable. Look at the little mini one. Ooh, this feels so nice on my skin. And then here is the Blendiful right here it feels so nice and smooth i'm gonna be testing it out i'm going to be testing the concealer the foundation the primer and the powder for shizzle okay so let's begin so i'm going to be applying the professional by um benefit as my primer i usually always apply this with my um fingers however we're just going to um give this a shot i'm just going to actually first apply it onto my skin. I, I don't know, this is how I would do it. Um, and then we can just, you know what, we'll just apply it with the small texture. We're you not know, applying the primer with the Tati Beauty um, uh, sponge. Okay, so this is a primer applied and I won't know if it has sort of changed um, from how I apply it from my to my fingers with my fingers sorry to how I apply it with my sponge so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply my, my foundation next and I'm actually really excited to try this out because I've never tried this out before what I'm gonna do is I never do this but I'm going to put some onto my onto my um, my, my skin and then we're just going to start by pressing it into the skin. So we can just dab it. Dabbing it, guys. Oh, and the foundation I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, foundation. Okay, let me just finish applying the foundation. Okay, see, I don't like this foundation because of the pump. My pump gets a bit... Yes, I prefer applying um, the foundation directly on the sponge rather than applying it on my face with my fingers and then going back again in with my sponge because you get more coverage like that. I'm kind of actually liking how it applied my foundation. Ooh, it feels so bouncy as well. I liked how, how it applied my foundation. I preferred because first I put it I put the foundation on to my skin with my fingers and then I blended it out using the blendy full. However, I feel like I lost a lot of the um that coverage because I did that. So what I'm gonna do is I like this side better and I'm basically going to just um uh, stick to putting the foundation onto my sponge and then just blending it in. I'm going to apply concealer. Oh god, I applied too much there, I know. So I'm applying the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. My little tiny mini one. So let me just see how this is gonna go. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but my skin is cracking and my foundation, this foundation doesn't usually do that. Okay, so I'm using my Coconut I Heart Revolution Baking Powder. I'm gonna be using my Tati Beauty um, Blendiful Sponge. 
just set everything. Okay, I'm going to be honest. The only thing I, I don't understand why it's happening is this area right here. I don't know why the hell it's separated. I don't really understand. I'm going to try and, well, actually, no, I'm just going to wait for a bit more because I'm really worried that when I take it off, it's just going to brush everything off. So I'm going to try and do my brows in the meantime. Um, let's see what I want to use. Okay, I'm going to use this one by Rimmel. This is their Brow Pro Micro 24 Hour Precision Stroke Pen. So I'm going to use this one to fill in my brows. Okay, so I'm going to try and fluff off. Okay, so basically I actually went, I took this piece off. I did it off camera because I was actually so close to stopping from filming. Basically, I took this area off and I applied moisturizer because that is what I didn't do. I just came back from work and well, you know, my face would be very, very dry and that's why it was sticking all the way. And also I think I should dampen this sponge and this maybe a bit before using it. Um, so I definitely need to keep that in mind um, for next time I use these. But apart from that, I have never seen my skin, honestly, now honestly, I'm being really real with you guys. I have never seen my skin so smooth with foundation on Remember guys, I have a lot of acne scarring I have over here and over here it's full. Like these one, two, three are still peeping through. I'm still seeing them guys. However, this side is the smoothest I have ever seen it to be um, on my skin. So these two products, the Blendiful and the Mini Blendiful, like I would just stop and I would just get the blending full, the blendy full for sure because this is quite harsh but I think I'm going to start carrying it around and when I apply makeup I'll just go over, over it with this to um, take off the excess oil. But yeah, I have nothing bad to say about these things, honestly. Um, I'm actually really, really happy with them and I cannot wait to start incorporate them into, incorporating them into my beauty um, uh, routine because I'm so happy that I found out what the problem was. The problem wasn't the sponges, it was me not applying moisturizer. So yes, but we always learn from these things. I mean, I literally was so close to stopping from filming, but I'm like, no, you must go on. We're gonna be doing a simple look because you can do so much in so little time with the Tati Beauty palette I am learning. So this is a Tati Beauty palette. It's actually really heavy guys. And it comes with a sheet like this. I'll be keeping the sheet of course. And this is the beautiful palette and it is open, it opens with a magnet. And then this is the palette right here. It's actually really, really pretty. And I like that it has the different types of formulas. So it has the matte formula, it has the sequin formula, the metallic formula, and the glitter formula. Now, I've tried the gl glitter, and I tell you, this is the, the simplest type of glitter I've ever used. And you don't even need to apply any glue to apply this glitter. So I'm going to try and do something very simple using um, these shades. Um, I've been doing lots of pinks on my channel, so we're going to try and do just, you know, something else. And obviously, we're going to start off with a matte shade. I'm actually going to use the shade um, uh, Aura, the matte aura shade which is this one right here and I'm just going to apply it all over my lid I don't know what I'm doing guys so I haven't figured that out yet but we'll figure it as the time goes so I'm just literally using this to set up um, all over um, my lid um, I'm actually gonna use a bit of suit in in my crease which is this one right here the matte shade called suit just apply a little bit into my crease, so literally we're going to go into in very gentle. And I like how this palette has a mirror, so yeah, that's fine. And we're just going to blend this out. So I'm going to apply the same shade on the other and I'll be right back. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Let me tell you, let's use a the brown shade. So I'm going to use the shade called Ritual in the matte format as well. And I'm gonna apply a outer corner, so an outer V. You can use a bit more. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm going to just take the brush that we used earlier and I'm gonna just blend that out and then blend blend that brown shade into my crease um, to just define the crease a little bit more. Something like this. These shadows are so easy um, to blend out and to apply. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. So we're going to do something. I'm, I'm not going to go into with a cut crease. I don't want to do a cut crease today. <laughs> yes, I don't. And that is okay. I'm just going to go in with a flat brush. I think I'm actually going to take the shade called Suit and I'm going to take the metallic shade, which is that one right there. And I'm just going to apply it on my lid. Okay, I'm actually very, very happy with this shade. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the shade Ritual that we use um, as our outer V, and I'm going to actually blend it with the metallic Sood. So make sure that you don't create harsh edges. So I'm just going to literally just ever so slightly blend that obsessed obsessed but we're not gonna stop there guys we're actually gonna apply some glitter because you know what the hell <laughs> so i'm gonna take actually the shade suit again so i'm gonna take the shade suit in glitter and with my pinky or whatever you well with this with my index finger i'm going to take it on my index finger and i'm going to just press it on to where I applied suit. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Did you see that guys? You saw how easy that was. I'm just going to fluff off the glitter. Hopefully it will come off. It did. Obsessed. Like who's ever created such glitter in an eyeshadow palette? Like who? Like if you can name them, then you let me know because you get let a girl know because I have never seen anything quite like that. I mean, look, look at that. I think I have hair or glitters in my eyes. Oh my God, do I have glitter in my eye? I, this is the one thing that I'm really paranoid about, about glitter is that, oh my God, it just goes everywhere. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'll be right back to finish up the look. So yeah, the glitter went everywhere. <laughs> and this is why you don't apply your face makeup before you apply glitter. So yeah, lesson, lesson learned, guys. I knew that. It's fine. Do not worry. <laughs> okay, so let's just finish the look. But absolutely, this palette is insane, honestly. I'm going to use the shade called Aura in its metallic form, which is this one right here. And I'm just placing that in my inner corner because, yes, of course I will. And I'm actually also placing it on my brow bone. Um, and then for my um, uh, under eye, I'm actually going to be using the shade Suiter. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Suit. Um, the matte shade called Suit. And I'm just applying that all over um, my waterline. That is the eyes. I'm just going to put on, I think I'm going to try and put on um, some um, uh, eye sh eyelashes. Okay, and also a company actually sent me some eyelashes called We Love Lashes. Um, uh, I'll link their um, uh, website down below. I have a lot of different um, lashes um, and lash brands like Eilure, Yasme, Oh My Lash and many many more and I'm just going to be trying out um, one of their lashes that they actually sent me um, so again I'm going to leave their website down below um, they sent me so many things, they sent me the Eilure Lash Adhesive Clear Finish Glue and they sent me these ones, the Flattery Light by Eilure and I also got the Oh My Lash lashes and then also the Yasme lashes as well. Um, so I'm really actually really excited to try out the Flattery Light because I think these are actually gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go off camera and come back on um, because that will take a lot longer. 
I don't know if I should try because I want to finish my duo um, eyelash glue before I try I, I start my um, eye lower lash adhesive so that's what I'll do so I'll be right back guys okay so I basically finished off my makeup look because it was taking longer um, because of my lashes but I absolutely love the lashes once they went on they're a really gorgeous pair of lashes very gorgeous and flattering for your eyes then also applied my bronzer and my highlights and my lipstick um, I'll leave everything linked down below but yeah I just wanted to just play with the Tati Beauty the Blendiful and the Mini Blendiful as well as the eyeshadow palette today and I wanted to share my thoughts with you um, I would like to say again a big thank you to We Love Lashes. I appreciate it so much for sending me those products and um, I'm loving my first pair of lashes that I've worn thanks to you. So yes, basically um, a bit of a review on my end. I absolutely love the Blendiful and I know that I'm going to be using it quite a bit. Um, and I also love the baby um, as well, the mini one. I think it blended really nicely. It's so smooth. It did decrease the look and appearance of my pores. I have to be honest about that because I am one who's really picky about my pores and it really did make a difference. So I'm really happy about that. And I don't think I have anything to say about the eyeshadow palette apart from it being amazing. I mean, I wish there were more color choices. However, because of how the palette is and because it has each shade in every single different formula, then that I know I understand that that is why there's not so many colors. However, I'm guessing, you know, since this was volume one, I am 100% sure that she will come out with a volume two, hopefully very soon. Um, my only annoyance is because we live in Malta it's just so expensive to order something outside from the um, from EU basically so yeah it comes a little bit more expensive and then but yeah that was my video for today I hope you liked it it was just maybe basically me testing out these two products and then showing you guys some lashes as well and trying them out so yes um, if you like this look then give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video and i hope you like this little video we had today so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video